How's it going YouTube? So today I'm going to do a video of my 10 best budget knives of the year so far. And these are going to be my reason. Um, these did not make the list. But they were all good enough. I'll start off with the Vosti Valkyrie. Now this was originally released last year but the Nitro V version of my Carta came out this year. Um, it could have been on the list, but I felt that was kind of cheating since it was released last year. Kaiser Sparrow, the link knife we'll be talking about from Kaiser. Came with beautiful micarta. Um, nice looking sheep's foot blade of 154cm. The only killer for this knife was the pocket clip. It's just not very comfortable on this little knife. We'll go to the QSP Swordfish 14C28N. Very aggressive looking blade. Stone wash finish, button lock. A brown burlap micarta with the wire clip. This is a great knife. I carry it quite a bit. This very easily could have made the list. It's like a beefed up penguin. Yeah. Next uh, be the CGRB Riff, another aggressive looking blade, really like this knife quite a bit, it's AR RPM non-steel, stone watch finish, got a nice looking fuller, um, yeah what makes this one bad, um, it's got a few things they could have spent a little bit more time on, like smooth flipper tab, could have made the liners inset. The blade's quite a bit thick, so it's not the sliciest. I still lock it quite a bit. Here's probably the newest release on the whole list. Sin cut slashkin. Got an extremely deep hollow grind, which puts a smile on my face. It's D2 steel, but is what it is. A um, little over 8 inches too, so probably the biggest thing cut I've bought so far. Yeah, I, th I think the official release date still hasn't came out at the time of this video. Who knows. What's the bad thing about this knife is they killed it with the liner lock access. Next to none. You gotta squeeze your thumb in there to close it. Other than that, and the D2 steel, this is a great knife. Very, very slossy. But yeah, now I need to get into the actual list. This video is gonna take forever. These are in no particular order, but. Devo Pony Stout. This is the smallest knife on the list. Another hollow grind. Stone wash blade. 14C28N. Blue micarta. Good little fifth pocket carry. A wire clip. What's not to love about this knife? I will try to link um, as many of these as I can down below. Got a Vosti Nightshade. The original Nightshade came out last year, but with the flipper, but the thumbhole version came out this year, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. They also got a thumb stud, thumb stud version and a mini. Also, I love this knife. It's very slossy. This blade shape is very useful. Um, the Kaiser Titanium clips fit on here very well. Drop shut action, good detent, crown spine. This one's in 154cm, but the newer ones are in Nitro V. The Boss Dude Raccoon next. This is the crossbar lock version with the funky micarta. 
These are $50, so you can't ask for a whole lot. 14C28N. Very useful blade shape. A good everyday carry knife. And the crossbar lock is adjustable, too. One more Vosti. I swear that's it. It's the Vosti Grind. They got regular micarta, too, if you didn't like the frag micarta. This is a Scandi Grind. They kind of went out on a limb and did something different, which I applaud them for. The Scandi Grind is super sharp. Cuts really well. Again, got the adjustable crossbar lock. The only thing I wish they had done different is make um, each side easy to get to, like Kaiser does. So you can undo this side to get to the spring, or this side, but still ain't that bad. Great action. Nice looking fuller. So, yeah. That's four of them. Next one would be the uh, Sinka and Mims. I really like this knife a lot. Wish I would have got a stone washed or satin blade, but it also fits the uh, titanium clips from Civivi. I just like this blade shape. I like knives that you can reverse flick. Full size knife, great detent, 9 CR 18 MOV. The flipper tab is jimped all the way around. I believe this one's under $50. I should have been putting the prices up. The Boston grind was around $70. Raccoon, $50. The Knot Shades, around $70. The Pony Stouts, around $75. So yeah, it's a great knife. I love my sink cuts. Now this next one might be my favorite one on the list. The Civivi Sokoki. And then got a nice edge on this knife. But Ray Laconico design. 14C20 in. Good thumb stud action. Reverse flick it. Front flippers, like one of the best there is. Beautiful micarta. Reversible deep carry clip. And I put one of these aftermarket CVV clips on there. Needs to be cleaned. This knife gets carried quite a bit. You can see from the darkness. Yeah, I just don't like the blade finish, but other than that, love it. Next is the only Migron on the list. This is the Moiral. Moiral. However you say it. Just put a nice edge on this one too. This is also 14C28N. Uh, the Sokoki is 60, 65 maybe. This one's 50, 55, somewhere around there. Don't really like the green G10, but they got uh, several new versions coming out. I believe they got a black and white one, a tan one. Comes with a titanium clip, but it's not completely deep carry. You have quite a bit sticking out of the pocket. They could improve on that, but great detent. Very slicey blade. Just a good looking knife. Been better if they would have inset the liners and chamfered it, but it is a budget knife, so can't get everything. Next up is the Best Techman Ronin. Now, this knife isn't as popular as I thought it would be. It's 14C28 in, several different color options, but this one's just super comfortable. Very ergonomic. Yeah, like I carry this thing quite a bit. Nice looking spear point blade. It's got a little bit of a stiffer crossbar lock. I believe this one's around $55 too. 
Yeah. This one is not reversible clip though. That might be part of the killer. Last two knives are from CJRB. This is the newest Pyrite that was released this year, unlike some of the others. See, this one's got my edge on it too. You know, if it's got one my edge on it, I actually use it. This has got the Frag Aluminum White Mountain Knife ex ex Exclusive that sold out in one day. Fits the Civibi clips. Great button lock action, AR, RPM, non steel. Yeah, you already know about this knife. The last on the list is the CJRB Echo. Not a whole lot different from the Pyrite Sheep's Foot Blade. This one's Micarta. Wish it would have been in sale honors, but other than that, I uh, wish it would have uh, had contoured scales like the liner log version. But great front flipper. I believe this is a Ray Laconico design too, so guy knows how to design knives. He's got two on my list. Yep, he's doing it right. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. If you if you think I missed any, tell me down below. I don't have all the knives released. I'll, I can only buy so many. So yeah, let me know your list. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a comment, and see you in the next one.